information, resources, and exploration. And those are the four kind of areas that people really get involved in. Skill levels, you can, in a short amount of time, become as good as somebody's been in the game for years in one area. So say if you want to be the best pilot, you can do that in a short amount of time. But if you want a broad base, you're not limited by class. You can learn how to do anything from mining to speculative. I myself, I play a guy, well, I don't kill very well. I'm not good at people. So instead, I am like the espionage person. So I go and listen to everybody else's stuff, check the forums, try and figure out where the raiders are, plan routes to get things from one place to another. We've got multi-star systems. So imagine if kryptonite is in abundance here, and they need kryptonite over here, I'm trying to get from one galaxy to the next, to get your kryptonite there, to avoid people, um, people blowing you up, and also making price deals. So buy, buy low, sell high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We actually have the only world's, um, we have in-game economists. Yeah. We are the only oh, wow. multiplayer in games. So we've actually got a certified doctor of economics who analyzes and does quarterly reports. So, and that's what actually they're showing the economic report right there. <laughs> that was last quarter. Wow. Of the actual... Yeah. So wow. he actually studies the economy and he talks about how maybe if we had um, shuttles, so shuttle construction, the players drive the economy, they actually have to mine for the minerals, they learn the skills to build it, they craft it, they sell. Same thing with mineral and, and, and mining exploration. So he was doing an analysis of how some specific minerals, <laughs> over time, it, it starts off again, if you think television sets, when you've got big wide screens, you know, the first ones that come out are so expensive and you, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. you want to buy them in. If you wait long enough, the price goes down and you can get some people on your price range. That economic theory is reflected in our game as well. So it's, it's online persistent, it never stops. You don't have a level that you cease at. You can keep growing and learning. And the expansions, we do two expansions a year, and they're free with the subscription. So it is, it's a subscription-based model. You, know, you pay, pay a price every month. And the nice thing is, say if you decide you're a student and you really cannot afford to play Eve this semester, you need to concentrate classes, you can suspend your account. When you come back, your characters are waiting for you. Oh, wow. Exactly. You can react to right. it. Now, you can lose your character by being killed. Killed. Yeah. 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 So you can pay for clones. Wow. You can pay for clones to learn skill levels. So if you get potted, boom, then, then you can activate your next clone. Now, if you didn't sell your clone to have all the skills you had, right. then it'll start off at a lower level, but it's kind of like an insurance policy. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. We have a lot of fun. So when, how, so you guys have been in Iceland for five Yes, we started five years ago. You're based in Iceland? Yes. Okay. In Iceland, you can drink. You can um, drink. <laughs> you can program. <laughs> and drink. <laughs> and and, and our, um, our studio in Iceland is actually on the edge of the port where it used to be a refrigeration warehouse. So we redid it all and it's a four-story building looking out over the water so you can see the ships that go out for like whale sightseeing or puffin sightseeing, go past our windows and everything. So how 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 was the concept? How is who came up with Oh our founders um, we've got Ilmar and Rainier and Nathan and the guys and they all are actually still out nice and they're working right now because we have an expansion coming out in like two months time. So it's crunch Time well, no, they can do that now with yeah, the they came up with the idea. No one ever really told them. Yeah. People don't think of Iceland as a hotbed of programming. So no one ever told them that they couldn't do this. No one right. ever told them that a space MMO wouldn't succeed in this world. So they, since no one told them, no, they kind of did it. And then um, we've expanded. So we now have over 300 employees. We've got three studios. Wow. Shanghai, Atlanta, and wow. And so Atlanta is our US base. We're hiring right now, so we're looking for qualified programmers. <laughs> we need level designers. We need coders. Okay. If you're interested, go to our website. <laughs> okay. Um, it's ccpgames.com, and then um, we, we all have different specialties that we work on, and so we, this is our first time here at New York Comic Con. We thought this would be a great mixture of people who are trying to broad base our audience, people who like comics, because I, I love DC, I'm a DC addict, Legion of Superheroes, we're also so happy about the 50th anniversary this year. <laughs> But we figured that that type of fan would be somebody who really enjoyed this. And this is not, it's not a simple game. It is complex. You have to learn things. So okay. It's growth challenges, and I like that part. That's great. Yeah, great. Well, welcome. Yeah.
Yes. If you guys have any questions or contact information about the press kit, you've got our latest um, screenshots. You've also got our press releases and pictures there. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Please do. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. okay thanks. Thank you. And this actually gives you information, 14-day free trial on the back. Cool. So, thank you. Anybody you think would enjoy it, just give them that. Interceptors, immediate launch. We will not like it.